go. All right, guys and ladies. Um, I'm gonna do something today that uh, I guess I normally wouldn't do or whatever, I don't know. But anyways, I've kind of been prompted, I think, I feel by the, the Holy Spirit to say some things. Um, and I, I, I first heard about this, and I don't get much time to um, watch like YouTube videos and stuff. I, I, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have much time to do that. Um, I, yeah, just yeah. Anyways, uh, I was watching a YouTube video the other night. Well, more than a couple nights ago, but anyway, from a man caught on. Uh, Pastor Joe Fox, it's uh, Viking Preparedness, I think it was. And I've watched some of his videos and stuff before. And this, I, I'm not, this is not a preparedness um, video or a uh, doomsday or whatever. It, it has nothing to do with any of that. Um, but anyways, I was watching this video from him on... He called it, I think it was the man rant or something like that. Uh, and then this morning on the radio, I heard uh, another thing about this. What is it? Um, what's it called? Toxic masculinity or something like that. Um, and I, I just want to, I felt led to this say this and um if you get a chance go over there to the, that viking preparedness and check it out now I, i'm not saying i agree with that man's um all of everything he says and everything and i'm sure if he were to ever watch my stuff which i'm i doubt he ever would but if he ever were to i'm sure he wouldn't agree with me and everything i got to say uh but one thing we do have in common is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, so that is one thing we do have in common, for sure. And I do agree with some of his stuff. I'm not saying I don't agree with any of his stuff. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, but go over there and check that out. But this masculinity thing... Um, I have some real issues with that. I, I, I honestly do. Because if you are a God-fearing man and you believe that God's word is true, I think the Bible is very clear on how a man should be and how a man should act. Um, the... I think that's where a lot of the problem comes in, though, is the we've put away God. We're, we're, we're shoving God out more and more, more and more um, every day in this country and around the world. We're shoving God out, and that's where it, I think the, the problem stems from. Uh is not obeying God's plans, not obeying God's laws. But this manly toxicity thing, um, you know what? I'm going to put it plain and simple. Either you have one or you don't. Either you're a man or you're a woman. You ain't one or the other. And men are supposed to be men. We're supposed to be leaders. We're supposed to be warriors. We're supposed to be head of the house we're supposed to be who God designed us to be now with that being said that doesn't mean men you sit in the living room watching TV which we don't have TV 
it's in my opinion a, another source of toxicity but you don't sit in there on your TV or on your computer or whatever and be like woman get in the kitchen and make me some pie um I it's kind of a funny I joke around with my wife and I tell her to do that so woman get in the kitchen and make <laughs> make me some pie um but she knows I'm joking too I would I would never say that meaningfully um we as men are supposed to love our wives as Christ loved the church now I'm going to say that is not always easy that is not always easy uh, <laughs> men and women are different like I said either you have one or you don't um and we are different for a reason. God created us different. And more, like Pastor Joe Fox said, you know, more than just plumbing. Um, that's how God designed us to be. So we fit together. We work together as a team. Um that doesn't mean you're never going to have arguments and disagreements and stuff. But we are called to love each other as Christ loved the church. That That's one of the main the main things. Um, and that can be very hard. That can be very, very hard sometimes. Um, but men, you're supposed to be men. I mean, all through the Bible, the Bible's loaded with stuff. If your eyes are open to see... What God has to show you in the Word through the Holy Spirit, if if you are open to see those things, the Bible is very clear. I mean, just one that pops in my mind is David. I mean, from young, like he said to King Saul, I killed a bear and a lion. We're warriors. Anybody that's been in the military knows what I'm talking about. Okay? Um... It, it, you're a warrior, okay? That's who you are. That's that's. I think that's in you. That's who you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be a warrior, um, a leader, and that doesn't mean, you know, that you. Um, can't help your wife uh, you know there's there's times when you're gonna have to you know especially in such certain situations where uh, the woman you know if, if both of you have to be working like in our situation um, and stuff and there's many many other out there anymore that have to have to both be working and stuff you know, you get home first, that doesn't mean you can't sweep the floor. Or you can't help her out at all. We're called to help each other out. Um, you know, last night, those of you who know, excuse me, those of you who know, um, my wife, and I thank God for her every day, um, that she puts up with me, um, but that I thank her for all she does because she last night she was working till she has her own those of you who know her um know that she has her own business at home and stuff uh web designer and so on um but those of you who know her I know she's a hard working woman um anyways um, she was working till it was about, oh, well, she quit for a little bit to come eat supper, which I made, by the way, and I'm not ashamed of it. I did it to help her out so she could keep doing what she needed to do. Um, and that's kind of what I was, what I'm getting at. Um, all right, sorry battery did its thing 
But, anyways, I am, um, I was saying about her working, she ended up working till like 9.30 that night, last night. Um, so we're, we're supposed to help each other out. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that we're supposed to be house maids and stuff. That doesn't, that's not what I'm saying. Um, what I'm saying is we can help each other out and do things. Now, women, that does not mean that you take advantage of that. And while your husband's off killing himself at work, sitting on the couch eating bonbons and watching TV and playing video game or on your YouTube or whatever you're doing. Um, you do not take advantage of that. But there again, the Bible's very clear on um, what we're supposed to be doing and how we're supposed to be. Um, but this whole thing of... And I haven't done a lot of research on it. I haven't really done much of any on it. But um, this manly toxicity thing you know grow up you know we, we, we I look at it this way we've we've started to take we've taken God out of this country and we have through that Satan has began and he's done this since the beginning of time but anyways he's twisting trying to twist what God has put in place and when we start going with that, we throw God out, and we start going with what goes against what God wants, um, Satan's going to get in there and work. Uh, yeah, he's going to. But I don't know. I just thought I, I was going to say something like about this. It, 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 um, I urge you, if you are... A Christian to get into God's Word and find out what it means to be a real man. Um, you know, like like saying about David. You know, David when he was young killed a lion and a bear. You know, uh, and, and all through, you know, we're, we're all through the Bible. There's. Um, story after story and, and, and example after example of um, men being warriors, being leaders, being um, who we are designed to be. You know, we grunt, <laughs> we burp, we, you know, stuff. Now, there's such thing as manners. I'm not saying you don't have manners, but, but men are men. And uh, we're not designed to be like women. <laughs> we're not. We're not designed that way. We're not supposed to be that way. So I guess this is uh, where I'm gonna um, stop this. But I, I. I don't know. I just felt called by the Holy Spirit to say something about about this. Uh, I urge you, though, to, to get in your Bible and, and study your Bible and learn what God has to, to say about being a man. And in these times, I think it's very important that you get into your, the Word and study it. Apply it to your heart. And if you're not a Christian and it's something you're interested in, um, please... Uh, message me you can private message however that's all done i don't understand this whole computer stuff i don't do that but my wife will get the messages and i'll i'll respond um but if you uh have an interest i will do my best that i can to explain things and to help you and and um through the grace of god i will i'll say the right things and and help you out but uh, get into God's Word, study it, um, let it be a light into your path. So, well guys, I gotta get going. I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do um, yet. So, yeah, 
I guess with that being said, take care, man up, and God bless. Take care.